Hi guys and welcome to another video. This is a trick tutorial and today's trick is an inverted yaw spin. Now this is one of my favorite moves and if you don't know what it is, it's where the quad flips upside down and does a yaw spin. So something I just want to point out is that it might look slightly different for different pilots based on their FPV camera angle. Mine as you can see, is about 25 degrees. So when I flip upside down, if I want to get the perfect yaw spin, I'm going to be seeing more of the ground. So if, for example, I put the horizon in the center of my screen and tried to do a, a yaw spin, it's not going to look right because my quad will then be faced, when I'm 180, my quad will be facing the ground. So that's just something to bear in mind. And obviously the higher angle you have, the less sky you will have in the top of your picture and the more ground you'll have and the lower angle, the more uh, centered your horizon will be. Okay, so with that in mind, let's get into it. Okay, so my advice would be to practice this somewhere with a soft ground like this, just in case you crash because you know, it does happen. And to get comfortable with going inverted, I think would be the first thing to do. So just throttle blip up, let go of your throttle, then come down again. The important part of this is to let go of your throttle when you're upside down, because if you start throttling when you're upside down, you're gonna come down to earth very, very quickly, and that's the last thing you want. So just get comfortable with that. You can flip in and out of it any which way you want. You can go sideways. You can go forwards. You can go backwards. You know, it doesn't really matter. Okay? So once you're comfortable with that, that's when you want to start practicing your inverted yaw. And again, trust me, just I recommend do this high. Because if you do it, and you mess it up, you know, you could be coming down to the ground very, very quickly, and before you know it, you've smashed into the ground. Okay, so just like that. Up, let go of your throttle, inverted your, and then just come out of it. It's all about throttle management at the end of the day. You could do backwards. You see, I often come out of it by rolling to the side. I find that is a nice and smooth way to exit, but you can also like be a bit more snappy with it. You know, you can do it, you can combine it with a juicy flick. There's so many possibilities when it comes to inverted yaw, and that's why I really like it. So, so you can come through here. Go like that, inverted yaw, and then back again. Really nice. Okay, my battery is starting to die, so I'll just do one more. Just like that. You don't even have to do a long inverted yaw spin. You know, it's just, and 180 for me is good enough. Just like that. Okay, so once you're a bit more experienced with your inverted yaw spins, in my opinion, the best inverted yours are when you snap into it quickly, but then you do a slow inverted yaw. So maybe a bit like this. So, snap into it, slow inverted yaw, just like that. And I mean, honestly, they can be quite terrifying to learn just because you're upside down and if you don't feel like you've got 100% control then, you know, you can crash. And also they, they can be very disorientating as well. Because if you do them, especially if you do them fast, it's like, where, are you, where do you end up? But the main thing is just practice, 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 practice. Get in an open field, 
get up high in the sky, upside down. Your doesn't even have to be, you know, even don't even have to do a 360. Maybe you can do a left and a right, a little tail wag. Practice both directions. And at the end of the day, it just comes down to stick time. You know, how much time are you willing to put into it? So just keep practicing over and over, just exactly like I'm doing now. So just remember, you throttle blip up, let go of the throttle, inverted yaw. Throttle blip up, twist around, zero, just make sure when you're doing the inverted yaw, you have zero throttle. That is the most important point. You need zero throttle. You see, I have zero throttle when I'm using my yaw. Zero. Anyway, I hope that helped you. And um, just keep practicing, guys. You'll get it. You'll get it. So that's it for today's trick tutorial. I hope you learned something. In the end, it just comes down to practice, you know? There's no substitute for stick time. Anyway, happy flying and good luck with those inverted your spins.